How's it going? How's everybody doing? It is Thursday. At least when I'm filming this, it's Thursday. Might not be Thursday when you're actually watching it, or when I actually get it posted to YouTube. Uh, you know, I, I realized, you know, filming in HD, it looks a lot better, but it takes a hell of a lot longer to actually upload. Especially when you just got the basic uh, internet service from, you know, the, a very prominent internet provider. Um, I thought about upgrading, but I'm almost afraid to, considering how much I paid just for the basic service. Uh, maybe eventually, you know, a couple years down the road, I might look into either upgrading to a faster, faster speed, you know, more bandwidth, however they put it, or maybe just switch providers. I don't know. That'll be something I will have to ponder and, and decide. But here we are. This is Just Average Schmo. If you're new to the channel, I'm glad you tuned in and took a chance on watching my video. Uh, hopefully by the end of it, you'll be entertained enough. You'll want to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you are a subscriber, thanks again. I, I greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to build up a, a base on YouTube. It, it, it's not easy. It's very slow going. I'm not as flashy and as, as polished as a lot of YouTubers. Uh, I do have editing software, but I haven't really delved into using it a whole lot yet. Um, again, that'll be something that down the road I will dabble a little bit more in. Um, but I appreciate you being a subscriber and welcome back. This is what I'm going to deem as part two of the vinyl... Um, unveiling, if you will, um, of a bunch of old, and I, as in old, I mean from like the 30s, 40s, 50s. Uh, there might be some 60s in here too. Um, vinyl LPs uh, that were um, my grandparents, my parents, and I believe some of them were actually mine um, from when I was little. That my parents decided that, you know, they're kind of downsizing a little bit, you know, that they're you know, older and so forth. And, uh, they're getting rid of them. And they decided to have me kind of come take a look through them. And, you know, I'm one of these people that I'm not a greedy person, not at all. You know, I, you know, everything I got, I work for. Uh, you know, unless, I mean, unless it's like, gifts and stuff, you know, holidays and birthdays, stuff like that, obviously not, but I mean, I, I believe in working, put in good hard work to earn your keep and, and so forth and so on. Um, so, you know, I'm not greedy on looking for handouts or, or anything like that, but I also believe that, you know, if, if you've got something and you decide you're going to get rid of it, um, if it's something that's got some value to it or could have some value to somebody that, that wants it, uh, you know, try to get some, get something out of it. You know, if you're going to, you know, give it for somebody else, for somebody else to enjoy, then, you know, there's nothing wrong with trying to sell it for what it's worth or, or at least close to what it's worth. Um, at the same time, I do believe in donating. I do donate to uh, some charities once in a while. Not a whole lot. I don't have a lot of spare money to to hand out, but I do like to, you know, the old days, you know, help help out when you can. Uh, so they asked me to come through, look through them, and I went through, and I, I think I pulled maybe, you know, forty or fifty of them that I thought might be ones that would actually maybe have a little demand and might actually garner, you know. A decent amount of value to them. Um, the rest of them, which this was literally like a third of the LPs, um, the rest of them were just like dollar, two dollar albums. Even now, even though they're older albums, um, I mean, you know, older stuff like Lawrence Welk and you know, some of the, the singers that were on his show and so forth, and so on. Um, I don't see those being ones that are like in the band. I mean, I'm sure there are people that still listen to that. 
but you know, as the generations go by, that's probably not going to be people that are you know, you know, bands and so forth, singers that people are be clamoring for to, to try to get a hold of. Uh, so I told her, you know, for those, just donate them. You know, donate them to Goodwill or something. Let let Goodwill, you know, sell them. And then, you know, whatever they make off of them, it goes to a good cost. So, let's dive in. I'm not, I mean, certain ones I'll actually pull out and look at here on camera as to see, you know, whether they've got scratches, so forth and so on. Most of these I probably will have to clean up a little bit. Just, I mean, they're older, you know, even being in, in sleeves and stuff, they're bound to get a little dusty and so forth. Um, so I'm going to look at getting some actual, like, some of the actual cleaner that you can use on LPs to clean them up. Um, but all the ones I'm not gonna, actually going to pull out and look at them, we'll just look at them in, in the sleeve. First one, though, we're, we're right out of the gate. <coughs> Excuse me. We're starting with one that I, I can almost bet will have a number of people interested in. Just because he's a very prolific musician, singer... Um, he covers the country and blues, even gospel. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, he has kind of two two sides two sides of the coin in the sense that he was always deemed kind of a rebel, but at the same time he was also very wholesome and down to earth. Um, but we are of course talking about the man in black. Johnny Cash. So this has got a you know very nice like hand drawn picture there on the front. I mean, sorry, it's printed on here, not hand drawn on here, but you know, somebody hand drew that and then they used that to produce these. Uh, inside Columbia Star Series presents the heart of Johnny Cash. It's got a little uh, you know, a couple paragraphs there about him. On the back, it lists a bunch of his other albums that they actually have. So this one we'll actually pull out and, and look at. As with most of these, you know, it does have some smudges here and there that will easily be cleaned off. Fingerprints. Outside of that, I don't see any, any major scratches. I mean, there's some superficial stuff that you're almost bound to get with any, any album that, that got played a lot. And I'm guessing this one probably did. Uh, who doesn't like Johnny Cash? Come on. And the second one, yeah, same thing. They just need cleaned off real good, get the fingerprints and so forth off of them. But this does have a lot of his, uh, you know, his, his big hits. Some of which people will automatically recognize whether you're a big Johnny Cash fan or not. Such as I Walk the Line, um, Folsom Prison Blues, yeah, I mean, those are, those are probably the two big, the two big ones off of here that people would recognize. It's also got Lumberjack, Five Feet High, and Rising. I Got Stripes, Green, Green Grass of Home. Why Do You Punish Me for Loving You, Frankie's Man, Johnny, A Certain Kind of Hurting, Mean as Hell, Locomotive Man. And the record, too, has the Folsom Prison Blues. Don't Take Your Guns to Town, The Matador, The Long Black Veil. I've heard of that one, too. The Sons of Katie Elder. Elder. The Ballad of Boot Hill, Happiness is You, When I've Learned, Girl in Saskatoon, and Ancient History. So, there we go. And with all these, like, again, I'll, I'll, make, I'll clean them up, make sure, and, you know, if there was any, one, any of them that, that I can see, you know, obvious scratches on, I'll play. Uh, and uh, make sure that, you know, it's not going to be a big issue. Um, so, turn off and bang. There we go. Alright, next. We've got one. It's just called 20 Monster Hits. 
This is a Columbia House recording. Uh, I believe this is a dual, dual record. Uh, I'm not even sure what songs are on here, honestly, because they don't say on the outside of it. 20 Monster Hits. got Red Bone, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Argent, The Hollies, Santana, The Years After, The Zombies, Time of the Season, that's a good song, The Birds, The Turn, 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 so you like Monster Hits of the 70s. Chase, Poco, the Buckinghams, Buckinghams, Steve Sills, Al Cooper, Donovan, Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show, Laura Nero and Big Brother and the Holding Company. Heard of a few of those. I haven't heard of all of them. This one is actually, I mean, there's nothing wrong with these. Those they actually look fairly decent. I mean, here on the cover, it does have a Ryman or last name on it, a ballpoint pen. All right, next one I'm going to pull out. Looks like it's in good dish. This is just a Christmas album. The reason I grab it, you know, everybody. Maybe not this time of year, but everybody likes Christmas music when, when you get around the holidays, so. Uh, yeah. yeah, a lot more people are actually getting into vinyl. So you might want a Christmas album. Yeah. This one, I'm actually keeping. Okay, I'm actually giving this one myself. It's one of my, my favorite bands from the 70s. Uh, we got the best of the Beach Boys. So, yeah. This one will not be up for sale. I'll be keeping it. So I'm put that off to the side. I'll actually put that with mine. All right, next we've got the golden hits of the Smothers Brothers. If you don't know who the Smothers Brothers are, they are brothers. <laughs> um, but they were not not just music. They played, I mean, obviously songs and stuff, but they also did like little skits and comedy bits. Um, if you're actually looking for some actually genuinely like entertaining, funny, very clean comedy, uh, the Smothers Brothers, they actually had their own show on TV. Uh, they're good. This is, uh, the Golden Hits of the Smothers Brothers Volume 2. That's our little paragraph on the back of it about it. Songs are Garbage, Church Bells, My Old Man, Intermission Bit, which is probably a little comedy bit. Michael Row the Boat Ashore, kind of everybody knows that one. I Talk to the Trees, Hangman, and Pretoria. All right, next we've got, I believe this might be a, yeah, this is a dual, Dual album, The Fabulous 50s. I guess I should double check and make sure that both of these actually belong in this set. Alright, so we're going here. We have the four lads, Dinosaur, Johnny Ray, Mitch Miller, Doris Day, Jimmy Dorsey, Johnny Ray again, the four lads. Tony Bennett, Patty Page, Johnny Mathis, Rosemary Clooney, and some French sound, I think. I can't read that. A little piece of paper in here. What is this? Now, the Columbia House Guarantee. These actually look really good. In really good condition. So, yeah, that's probably a pretty good set from the 50s. 
All right. Next, we have all original hits from the KTEL. This is Star Power. Here we have uh, Miko with the Star Wars title team. Foreigner, Cold as Ice. Paul Nicholas, Heaven on the Seventh Floor. The Babies, Isn't a Time. Firefall, Just Remember I Love You. Just to name a few. Bay City Rollers. Little River Band. Christine 16 by Kiss. So, pretty, pretty good. No, no, no. Just a couple superficial scratches on it. I'm not sure whether they'll actually cause an issue. I'll find out. It definitely needs wiped off. All right, next. Hell of Frank Sinatra, Strangers in the Night. Arranged and conducted by Nelson Riddle. So this is, must be with the... Uh, so I think this is a... Uh, what are those, uh, Strangers in the Night. I'm guessing that's uh, like a musical or something like that. Album looks like it's in really good condition. Huh. Huh. I actually like Frank Sinatra. Next, we might have another one that people might be interested in. Make sure that it's the right album in there. Yep. Check the. Uh, check the. Uh, yeah. Once again, just. That a lot of these are going to need just cleaned off. Soundtrack to Smoking the Bandit. If you've never seen Smoking the Bandit, do yourself a favor and and find some place to stream it. You go in the bargain bin. You might be able to find it in the bargain bin on DVD somewhere. Or I believe they do actually have a box set. I think I might actually have it. I might actually own it. Uh, it had all the Smoking the Bandit movies in one set. But there's nothing quite like the, the first one. With Burt Reynolds and Sally Field, Jerry Reed, and of course the, the immortal Jackie Gleason. Uh, who I, I think one of my favorite roles of Jackie Gleason played was when he played uh, Minnesota Fats in The Hustler with Paul Newman. That was an excellent movie too. I guess you know. so there we go. That's that's like a time of classic right there. You know, the movie and the soundtrack. Eastbound and down. And the bandit. It's nice. Alright, next. This one's the, the cover's in really bad shape, as you can see. It's like completely fun. I'm going to have to tape it. I'm actually going to keep this one, too. Just because I do like horror stuff. This needs cleaned up, but this is uh, like the, the original like like radio show uh, done by High Team Adventure uh, Bell Records. But this is uh, the Invisible Man, the original like story, which I believe is a. Uh, I just see if it's set on here like who I don't feel like the original the original story of the Invisible Man wasn't it done by like H.G. Wells could be wrong I don't know don't really say on here but yeah but I'm keeping that one 
Next, we got a big name that everybody will obviously recognize. We got Elvis, Almost in Love. On the back, show you some of the other early albums that this particular label has. Him. Quick, open up, make sure. Yep. Right album in there. Elvis, Almost in Love. Almost in Love, Long Legged Girl with a Short Dress On, Edge of Reality, My Little Friend, A Little Less Conversation, Rubbernecking, Clean Up Your Own Backyard, U.S. Mail, Charo, and Stay Away Joe. Okay, fine, don't have to tell them twice. There we go. The King. Oh, well, thank you very much. Another one that might be uh, sought after by people. Hank Williams Jr. So it's still got the plastic. It's not sealed, but it's still got the plastic on the outside of it. So, uh, got a nice like, picture on the, on the liner on the inside. Oh, this one looks I mean, a little dusty, but I don't see any smudges or anything. It's a uh, like a flawless. I might plan any. I'll just list it. I don't know. Hank Williams Jr. Family Tradition. That's a good album right there. Alright, two more in this set. And there'll probably be like two more videos like this to get through the rest of them. But Next, we've got the soundtrack for Mel Brooks' High Anxiety. And of course, then it shows you know, all the different movies of his on the back. Of course, my favorite movie that Mel Brooks did has got to be Spaceballs. On the inside, you've got a nice big thing talking about all the different movies um, that feature, of course, the silent movie. Uh, Young Frankenstein, Blazing Saddles, The Producers, and The Twelve Chairs. I don't think I've ever seen The Twelve Chairs. Yeah, and this features like film scores from from all of those. So High Anxiety, Silent Movie, Young Frankenstein, Blazing Saddles, Producers, and The Twelve Chairs. There you go. And the very last one is, of, the, of this part two is another Frank Sinatra, My Way. Excellent song. I actually uh, sing that on karaoke once in a while. Do karaoke here. I had a nice karaoke player. Sorry, although I wish I could figure out how to, how to adjust it properly so you don't have to adjust it every time. Because with the, I don't know whether it's the microphone, the wireless microphones, or whether it's the player itself, but you get, with its initial setting, you get some feedback and like, like crackle. So you actually have to go in and, and turn down, uh, like the actual, like the voice part of it a little bit. But, uh, overall, it's fun. Me and my daughter have, uh, spent countless nights here doing our karaoke so this has got watch what happens didn't we hallelujah I love her so yesterday all my tomorrows my way a day in the life of a fool for once in my life if you go away and Mrs. Robinson That's probably a pretty good album, too. So, all of those, once they get cleaned up and, and tested, make sure you know that, that they don't have any major issues with them, so forth, so on. They will be listed on my Mercari site. I'm going to sell them for my parents. And then, uh, once I, you know, once they sell, probably at the end of each month, um, I'll, you know, I'll total up and, and Get the money and then take it to them. Um, but J R Y M M A N is my username on Mercari and Poshmark. 
I do have a ton of items on there for sale. All of them in like new. Well, most of them in like new or or brand new condition. Uh, obviously, these aren't going to be like new or brand new, but they'll still be in good condition. And you know, I'll make sure they're playable and everything before I list them. Um, so jump on Macari, Poshmark, and check out what I have to offer. They probably won't be listed uh, for a little while. Um, I actually just ordered some. Uh, I just ordered, uh, I think, one case of actually shipping containers for LPs. Um, I think it's a set of 25 of them. Um, so once those get in, that I'll probably go through and start start cleaning some of these up, testing them, and then listening. So all you can do is, uh, you know, get on Macari, you know, find me on there, and then follow me on there. That way, when I do list new stuff, you'll immediately know about it. Um, outside of that, hey, everybody have a wonderful evening. Um, take it easy. Stay safe and healthy. And always look out for yourself and those around you. And I will see you the next time. i got a couple things coming up. I, I know that my regular BAM box shipped, so it should be on the way. I also found out that my Vixens... Ultra Bam Box, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, it shipped. And then, of course, like I said, we'll probably have like two more videos of uh, albums. Uh, in my, my mom said they found a bunch more. Um, so although they're they're more like not in in sleeves like this. They're you know albums just in like in a big like book type thing so I'm not exactly sure what they are I didn't really take a, a good hard look at them the last time I was there uh, but you know we'll find out that's all I got so if you liked the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't obviously don't uh, but I hope you did alright take it easy see ya